Welcome to some bio prototype. It's a bullet heaven where you're making like a weird blob mutant creature. Uh, and we're just going to dive right in because it's a little confusing. So, I mean, honestly, on paper, it's a pretty standard bullet heaven. But once we actually start comboing moves together, that's when it gets weird. Uh, so the one problem is this is... It's not an English first game, and so some of the tutorialization is confusing. So I'm just going to have to make it work and figure it out. So fire projectiles repeatedly when activated. So you might notice there's a couple of different types of things here, and it can be a little overwhelming. Uh, so these are... Oh God, it's going to be easier if I almost go to this, actually. Okay. So the way this works is I have my brain, and then I can kind of combo it through things. So brain, vessel amount, join the glorious evolution. It's right side compatibility, heart, spine, lung, intestine, and bladder. So I can only have those attached to this. So we have a spine of the white fox, which every second uh, fires off whatever this is uh, at 120% efficiency, which means it does 120% uh, of its regular damage. So in this case, it says damage nine, so an extra 20% on top of that. So this is how it shoots, and you can also notice extra compatibilities. So if we go back to this, uh, let's grab Tentacle of the Coral, and what else do we want? Tentacle of the Mushroom, fire projectiles that trace targets automatically when activated. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Let's go back to mutations. We actually have a couple. Now this one's weird. Why did it have a vessel? Oh, I see. This one has no vessel amount. This one does. So if it doesn't have a vessel amount, that means it cannot be, uh, it cannot be scaled. Or it cannot be continued past that point. Anyway, so now I've got a, uh, a homing shot. And it's a little bit more damage. I'll take the homing shot. It seems like it has a bit of a pierce too, if there's, uh, if there's some enemies near each other. Oops. A little too close for comfort. There we go. I think I'm actually starting to like fully understand how this game works. Uh, I was playing a little bit of it on my own just to be like, what am I doing? Uh, let's see. So, Spine of the Champion Chimpanzee is interesting. Limb of the Germ Rat. I, a number of these are potentially really good. So this one activates much less often but does a ton of damage. This one is an AoE. And then this one is activate the right side organ when the left side organ hits any target. But it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but effectively you can chain a bunch of hits as a result of that. I kind of want to grab this though, if you notice there's different colors, so gray, gray, and blue. Blue is better. Uh, let's see. Short range attack in a rectangle in front of you when activated. I might want to snag that. I haven't figured out how to get offspring to work. So yeah, let's grab a limb. All right, so first and foremost, uh, let's see, go here. We want to slap this on. So that means this is going to fire much slower, but it's going to absolutely just wreck things. It also has a duration of one second, which means I can potentially, oh, no, go here, put this spine on. And then we can have something, duration one second. So we can have something here. Let's see. It seems to be durations the entire way down. You know, is this perfectly fine? It is. I could... I could do the limb, but I think I'm going to go for this shotgun setup for the time being, and I still don't have too much. So I could get, like, movement speed, life, and some other stuff, but no, I'm just going to... I'm just going to ba battle with what I've got. Let's see how this works. So, every short bit, my, uh... My homing projectiles when they're kind of like it's like after half a second or so I, I'm not quite sure how the trigger works but after sh after a short bit it will uh, fire a bunch of shotgun projectiles problem is that's not super uh, possible considering my homing projectiles have a lot of targets to hit that are much closer to me Ooh. Uh, so I'm not actually going to be triggering any of my effects what I probably want to do is get another brain uh, to capitalize on it, or hopefully can find something else. Uh, let's see. Short range circle when activated. None of these are fancy. I'm going to go grab this. We could get limb of the skeleton. But I think I... Ooh. This is really good, actually. Oh, good. 
and we can grab that. I should have looked at what a belly does, but it's fine. So we're going to grab that, switch the nerve here, and then do homing. And then I could do more than this, but I think I'm fine. I mean, I guess I could just slam, slam these on, even though it's not really that helpful. The question is, oh no, the limb doesn't work, but what if I do this? Give me that back. Put this here. Oh, I see. This only has a com uh, compatibility with nerve. Gotcha. So, I don't know. Let's just go with that for the time being. Do I have enough money? The answer is no. Oh, now I have a old bike. Okay. So now I have Big Sword, and when Big Sword kills something, or hits something, it summons a bunch of homing shots that then, uh, just limb whack everything. It's, like I said, it's a little confusing, but once you get, once you get used to this and kind of know what you're doing, uh, you can make some really busted combos right off the bat. I'm looking forward to once we have, uh, a couple more points in meta progression, or it's not even meta progression, oddly enough, it's actually just mid-run progression. But once we stack that up a little bit better, I think this will get pretty dicey. Or dicey? Spicy? This will get fun. Though it doesn't look like the homing shots are actually homing, which is a bit of a downer. Okay. Oh! Retrieved unpicked organs for 30. Or maybe it just g gave me extra stuff. I'm not entirely sure. So atomizes the effect of the right side organ and makes it surround. So wings, belly, and poison bag. Nerve of the boxer, it's okay. Though I think I might want to grab either this, or we could get intestine of the monolith. Ooh, effective radius. You know what? I'm actually going to go for intestine of the monolith for the time being. I don't care for most of these. Yeah, unfortunately none of those really help. Okay, so we want to grab some pickup range. And then... Another brain. And then I guess a smidge of movement speed. Okay, so let's go back. Let's go to mutation. So now I have a second brain that I can do something with. So we can put a spine. We can put this intestine here. But I can't combo anything with it. So we can do lungs. Which I can't do anything with. Or we can do this, which I can do something with. So we can do shotgun blasts, or I'm thinking the limb of the germ rat, just to give me a kind of like a defensive AoE. Do I want to do anything with this one? Because honestly, the limbs of the giant weren't quite as good as I was hoping they would be. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do shotgun blasts instead. Limb of the giant will wait on. I think I... Wait, did I get another nerve? No, I didn't get any more nerves. Yeah, I, I need to get some more nerves. Okay, cool. So now I have a couple of AoEs around me. And yeah, it looks like those shotgun blasts are a little bit more accurate. Which is kind of what I was hoping for. And yeah, this extra movement speed means I can actually get around my enemies. I was kind of avoiding it because movement speed feels... Ah... I don't want to say that movement speed feels kind of eh to me. Like, don't get me wrong, I think it's fine. Uh, let's see. But it's one of those where, like, especially in these games, it's better to just be killing enemies faster. But at the same time, if I'm not, then I want to be able to move quick. Just so I can kind of maneuver around them and find those safe spaces that I need. Luckily, I heal between waves, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay, I don't have any unpacked organs. Activate the right side of the organ while hosts affected by the left side of the organ die. Interesting. I'll snag it. Oh, let's see. And while I could go for another lung, I'm going to go for a nerve. Oh, this is even better. So hard is interesting. Activate the right side organ after four seconds without damage taken. Belly of the snowman. Decrease target's movement speed for duration when activated. 
Interesting. But I think I'm going to go for Nerve of the Raptor just because I can see that getting really nutty. Okay, so I'm going to try switching this for the Limb of the Giant because we got another Nerve. Now we have Nerve of the Boxer, which is just whenever I hit. I have Nerve of the... Nerve for crits, but I don't think that's as useful. Will hosts affected by the left side die? I'm assuming that's gotta be a, a damage over time effect. Okay, one way or another, now this can fire out homing shots. I don't think I have anything that could go here. Like, I guess I could do the crit into this. And then we've got to stop because we've hit brain capacity. I don't think I can do anything with the eyeball. We'll have to find something that's compatible with it, which I think is going to be poison. Oh, do we want to put... Uh, let's put the shotgun blast here instead. Okay. And I got way more resources to work with, too. So, I like organ quality. So, I'm probably going to put all of my points into it. At least for the time being. Alright, there we go. So now, what should happen is I'll hit, and anything I hit just turns into limb smackums. Yeah, this should work. I'll probably want to replace the limb with more sword, just because better sweep. But at least this way I should have an easy amount of, uh, or I, I should have a decent amount of success. Just absolutely blasting things with limb hits. We should definitely also up my crit. Because I bet if I had a decent amount of crit, we could do some interesting things. There we go. I'm being really bold, trying to grab as much money as possible. You don't actually lose it. Uh, if you notice, there's these kind of cells in a jar. For every uncollected cell in a run, uh, or in a round, in a wave, in a wave. Uh, that just gets put into a jar, and then you can just get it next time. There we go. That was worth it. We only got four seconds left. We've barely taken any damage. I know we got a free spine out of the deal. Uh, and maybe some other things. Okay, so I have another spine of the white fox. So I might actually... I might want to snag it. We'll see. Yeah, I don't have anything else on that that's useful. Okay, so here's the thing. Much as I like this, I might want to have a faster spine. And I think this has to stay the same. Because that's a nerf of the raptor, but those are kind of limited in what they can do. I'm gonna swap that out though, make that do a little bit more damage. Okay, let's go back to this, because this one, this one's capped, and I can do better than it. Uh, why don't we do this into the homing, homing thing? With a quick fire second shot. I don't really bet on any of this being effective. I need certain other, uh... I'd, I need certain other effects that last. Because, yeah, not enough duration, for example. So this has a duration of one second. And this actually needs to fire faster than that. So it straight up just will never activate. Let's, uh, let's just put that there. Whenever this crits, it has a chance of doing an AoE. I mean, I guess I could have put the AoE at the end of this. Oh, maybe I should. Give me a second. Because if I put the mushroom here... We lose so much of the other stuff, but it's fine. Now, let's see, and I'll just put this here. Not that it's ever going to trigger. Grab that, and if... If this some well, I guess this is this is going to crit or, uh, crit or yeah, because that's critical strikes. I should probably invest in that now. Now that I'm thinking about it, let's just slap both of the these on. Okay, so let's go to culture 
crit chance. Uh, let's see, do I want to just invest kind of hard into it and then go back to organ quality? Yeah. All right, cool. So now what should happen is when the limbs hit, they explode doing damage. I'll probably want to sw swap them at some point, but that AoE, well, I mean, otherwise I could just get a like a weird triple AoE. If you guys remember my runic bullet heaven videos, this is very similar, but like a little bit more confusing, but also a little bit more immediately flexible. I don't know. I feel like this has a ton of potential. It's it's Noida style spell programming, just a little bit more obfuscated by strange organ business. But like, look at how much just like we've turned into an AOE machine. I do have to watch not touching enemies. I should probably invest a little bit into health at some point, just because, you know, that would make a lot of sense. But we will see. I definitely also need more attack organs. I mostly have trigger organs and ooh boy. Okay. Yeah, these these little white ghosties are a little faster than I expect them to be. And they're a little hard to see through my AoEs. Oh, oh I almost died. Oh, that could have gone badly. Wings. Grant increased organ damage for duration when activated. Buff effect scales with efficiency of the left side organ. Ooh, that's useful. And then we also get a bigger limb of the giant. Okay, tentacle of the swordfish. Fires projectiles repeatedly been activated. That I mean, yes. Root of the armor fruit. Detect defended positions at random locations on the map when activated. Wait, root could not work unless its regeneration exceeds one. Regeneration is. Uh, what? Otherwise, we have a fairly quick Spine of the White Fox. I think I'm going to go for the Spine of the White Fox instead. Okay. Spine of the Jackal. I think I'm going to go for another Nerve of the Boxer. Okay. And now it's time to just completely cycle some things out. So put this here. Replace you. Now here's the question. Fire projectiles repeatedly when activated. I think we want that. Because now I can slap both of these here. Place this one, so that's firing often. So these aren't going to have a very high compatibility or effectiveness, but the damage, the damage is going to be good. Okay, increase organ duration, ah, uh, damage for Duration when activated. Buff effect scales it with efficiency. So, honestly, not a very good... It's, it's okay. Uh, let's see. We'll go back to this. Do I want to yoink any of these? Not overwhelmingly. I think I might, I think I might want to just go full baseball bat here. And not even think too hard about the other side. Let's just do that. Because we're not doing projectiles, we definitely need a lot more trigger organs. But at least this way it just gets hella bonky really fast. I don't know how the tentacle of the swordfish is exactly going to work here, uh, but it still seems like a good idea. Three projectile amount, pierce eight. So this should get way out of hand way fast. Culture. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get at least one more point in life. Oh, base damage. Oh, that's okay. I think I'm just gonna go back to organ quality. The higher my organ quality, the better. This game is making me say weird things, man. All right. Now time to, oh, they're fast. Time to just absolutely drub everything in my immediate vicinity. I was hoping to get uh, kind of a ground AoE with a longer duration, because I could do some pretty wild things with that. Uh, you know, spread stuff on ground and just have it repeatedly trigger other effects just by existing. Okay. 
Yeah, the one problem is we do have a lot of really quick enemies that are just kind of charging at me that I'm going to have trouble seeing. Because they will 100% just hide it in, in my special effects and there's not much I can do about that. I'm very glad I invested a little bit more into maximum life. And I might want to do that every round just, just to give me that extra safety buffer. It'd be pretty sad to lose at this point just because some random doodad just decided to touch me. I'd be upset. I... okay. The other thing we could really use is just more aggressive AoEs. I love these limb smacks, but I don't know how accurate they are. They do cascade effect in a really satisfying manner though, so I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is this is get growing on me. All right, a poison bag. Not very good, but it does what I need. Belly of the Schrodinger. Infect, yeah, inflict Wither on the target for a duration when activated. Targets affected die instantly when their HP falls below a certain threshold. We want that. It's got a three second. Yeah, let's go for that. Let's see, and a really good nerve of the boxer. Fire multiple projectiles in a circle when activated. Ooh. Yeah, this is useless. Root does not work unless its regeneration exceeds 1. But its re base regeneration is 0.16, so it's not really worth it. Uh, let's see. So yeah, let's go for the tentacle of the starfish. Go back to mutation. So we've got big bonkus. Here's the question. Do I actually want to swap the tentacle of the starfish out, uh, swordfish out? Because I might want to put the starfish on. It's got a projectile count of five. Oh, but a pierce of three. So no. Okay, compatibility is kind of A. So let's do that. Unfortunately, brain capacity is kind of iffy. Uh, let's just put this here. Unless we have something better. Because there's like the belly of the Schrodinger. That's interesting, but I want, I want that on my next thing instead. I don't have anything better here. Unless I go like harder on crit. But no, we want to instead do, oh, blue intestine on the ground. Then, do we want poison? Max stack is infinite. Damage over time to the target when activated. Duration is 2.8. Versus belly, duration is 3.16. Uh, Yeah, that puts it on the ground. I'm curious about the wings, what that would do. But I think I'm going to do belly. Oh. Activate the right side when the hosts are... When the hosts expire. So that's really good. And then this one. Spine of the chimpanzee ain't bad. Or, well, the effect of the left side expires. So, either we have this trigger a couple of times, or the other one trigger once. No. Definitely the chimpanzee. So now if I put this here, these ground, uh, ground things should be constantly shooting. Let's see. Do we want to do Wing of the Giant Bat? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, you know, that's just not going to do much of anything. Oh, of course. Alternatively, we actually have more things that I can put in. So let's put this here. Swap you out. Instead of limb damage, we go go with that. And do we want to do the poison bag of thorn? Or do we want to do tentacle? Or limb? Limb smackums. All right, cool. And this seems to be about capped out. So go back to culture. 
I'm still liking the organ quality, but let's invest one point into life just for that extra oomph. There we go. That'll increase my base damage by a smidge. All right, here we go. Yeah. I think I think we've got a good good in here. So this should I might want to I might want to change that ground target duration thing. Cuz it's not triggering uh triggering any enemy or it's not triggering any effects. It's good, I'm sure. But since uh, most of the enemies just aren't getting affected by it because my main move is just so much stronger, uh, I should probably switch it out. Because it's pretty effective when it, uh, when it actually procs. It's just my other attack is just so bloody strong. Ow. There was an enemy in there. It's fine. I am really digging the uh, hit enemy with sword and then go absolute blasto. Could switch it up and try and put the projectile one in instead, but I'm still thinking the sword is probably my best bet. Because enemies tend to come in clumps, and this way I hit them with the sword and then just delete everything. There we go. Yeah, those guys have some HP. He did not want to die. So we have a new spine of the mammoth. And also a poison bag of the thorn. Alright, so what else do we want to grab? Uh, I'm going to grab another nerve of the raptor. I'll leave the blood coral. Inflict trauma on the target for the duration. Trauma can be stacked multiple times. Trauma deals damage to the target every time it's applied. Ah. I actually do like that. The red... Retina of the Raven is interesting. I can see it being really good with like a hyper... Wait. Might be able to do something with that. We'll see. Okay, so I want to go back to this one. Your big issue... Oh, is that the only one that I have? That's yeah, tough. Because, yeah, the problem is this only fires off less than once per second. Or, oh, yeah, once every 10 seconds. Go figure. Yeah, both of these trigger so very rarely that they're almost not worth it. Now, would I do something else? Wait, what if I do this? Okay, do I have anything that scales with this wing? Because I could do this. Lungs of the narwhal on the wing. So I can't do the retina, but I could do the cochlea of the cat. Or I might be able to just slap these on. And just kind of turn into a, a projectile storm. Uh, let's see, which one of these is the fastest? There we go. I don't know if this is the correct strat, but I'm going to try it. So, this is going to buff me for some amount of time. And then hopefully I just start, like, gouting extra shots? Maybe. We'll see. Alright, culture. So we've maxed out organ quality. We can do drop rate. That's so low, though. We could also get another brain. And maybe a bit more pickup radius. So the other one that I want to get that's really expensive is this one. 
if Raiden is able to control two additional organs per level. Unfortunately, it caps out at one level, so it's kind of limited in what it can do, but... I can now come to this thing, and then rebuild my whole intestine business. Uh, let's see. Just drop both eyeballs in and see what we got. Ah, maybe not. Yeah, because what I want is something that fires really fast. I don't think we've seen too much of that. Like, chimpanzee... No, chimpanzee is not actually faster than what I've got. Yeah, so I, I don't think I have much of a choice here. Let's just... Let's just do this. Alright, I think I've got everything else. Come at me. Oh, they're the speedsters. I guess I should probably invest in my own speed. Yeah, I can't tell if the wings are actually triggering those extra projectiles. I think it is. Because it wouldn't have that AoE around me. Otherwise. Which, speaking of that AoE shot, would be absurdly useful. Boy, I need even more pickup radius. Not that it matters. We've got the, uh, we've got the cell jar. Ooh! That was a gold tier intestine. Oh, and we might have a boss. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I cannot leave this area. So I'm just going to have to wail on this guy until he's done. Clearly, I should have actually gone for the poison on the ground rather than the belly of the whale because the poison has no upper limit. Okay, it's dead. And because the poison has no upper limit, I can just... Uh, Trigger it, trigger it multiple times on a foe. Comparatively. Eh. Don't care that much. That's better. Okay, so what else do we have? Atomizes the right side around you. Or another nerve of the boxer. I mean, otherwise we could go back to nerves of the boxer. This whole atomizing thing would make sense on a different build. Maybe not this one. Germ rat. Oh boy. Tentacle of the Dragon. Self-surrounding projectile when activated. Ooh. Cochlea the Cat is interesting. Now, I'm gonna snag it. Grab the Jackal. Okay, so mutations. I think I'm gonna... Give up the Ghost on this one. Kind of. When, when the left side expires. Really, it's only this. So I could specifically go grab this new jackal. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but they have it trigger... things? I'm not gonna think too hard about this one. Okay, so I'm just gonna be leaving poison pools every half second uh, that poison enemies for 10 damage last for 4 seconds, and then they just start shooting projectiles around them. Uh, let's see. This, though. Pull this back, nothing remaining. Do I want to have something that attacks that slowly, though? No. Actually, let's go back here. This jackal... We'll switch it out. We'll pop that there. At least that way they'll be able to do some good. Alright, so where's the jackal? Here's the jackal. So now, ooh. No, that's fine. Because now we've got another boxer. Yeah, my only immediate problem is none of this is particularly useful. Because I just kind of want this to trigger as many things as I can. 
maybe that's okay. Yeah, let's go for this. Okay. So now I should just kind of casually explode. Uh, let's see. I could get a another brain. But I'm starting to run out of space. Go pickup range? No. Let's go for the crit chance and some movement speed. There we go. That should be good enough. I don't know how long these runs last. Wow. Okay. Well, the uh, explosion AoE is actually working really well. I might want to swap that. Swap out the sword. Give me the uh, the big nuke. That way I don't have to worry about... Yeah. No, let's, let's go do that. Because I just want the AoE to be triggering more or less constantly. See if I can increase its AoE size as much as humanly possible. Just get it so it just triggers extreme uh, explosions off of every enemy that I hit. What I was really expecting with some extra pickup radius that I'd actually be able to pick up more things, but it is... is it's such small beans. I'm a little spoiled by uh, Rogue Genesia, which... I, I really hope we get some midpoint between this and Rogue Genesia. Because I feel like uh, this is some interesting mechanics, uh, but the statistical pro progression is kind of boring. Mm. Okay, this is tough. So, one, the actual, like, equipment in this, you know, the various parts you get are kind of boring. They're kind of bland. It's just, like, largely each layman is going to behave in the exact same manner. Uh, let's see. Another nerve of the boxer. Sure. Spine of the Chimp. Even faster Spine of the Jackal. Poison Bag of the Wyvern. Damage over time to the target when activated. What is the difference? I have no idea. Okay, so let's go, let's go mutations. So this has the sword. gonna swap this real quick this stays the same because we got a better jackal I know this has a higher compatibility but it's not what I'm looking for because we want to just fire fast and then replace it with this better boxer do I want this to actually do more damage I guess it doesn't do that much so that's fine our goal is mainly just to have quantity of shots. Okay. This doesn't really matter damage-wise. Well, let's put the sword here. Back to this. I'm going to take this back. I want to go all in on making this one as good as it possibly can be. Okay. So we are going to fairly quickly fire out the limb of the germ rat, which just has a huge range. Which is then going to trigger the tentacle, which then triggers the other tentacle, which then triggers the sword instead. If I could get another AoE, I think I'd be even happier. Uh, let's see, this one really doesn't have much going on for it, so I'm not going to mess with it. So next up, this. I'm just going to trigger that. We have more hits. Oh no, let's swap these. Not that I'm really sure if this is going to be able to trigger that often, but it's fine. It's not our main it's not our main focus by the uh, in the slightest by this I don't know, it doesn't matter. Cell duplication. Cells you pick up have a chance to duplicate. Maybe. I'm just going to keep going for the pickup radius. All right. Let us explode. Oh, that's fun to watch. Ideally, I just want more explosions. But the the sword's going absolutely wild when I hit things is actually pretty good in its own right. 
I... I'm enjoying watching this. It's definitely, I think, the kind of bullet heaven I'm going to want to leave on the back burner a little bit. Oh, there is actually a limit to where you can go on this. Just because it feels like it's going to need a fair bit more time in the oven to really get interesting. Like, I'd love to see organs with weird special effects. Not, like, slight differences in, in efficiency or duration or anything. I want, like, organs that do weird stuff. Like a projectile that just randomly has bounce attached to it. I am so glad I've invested in health because I'm getting just slamma jammed. I might want to look into some utility organs more than anything else. We're just running into these weird lines of pseudo wizard creatures is kind of fun because they just slowly oogle at you and then die to a billion swords. All right, so we got some goodies, including this belly of the fire lizard inflict blaze on the target can be stacked multiple times. Each stack has its own duration. It feels like there'd be some really interesting, like a summon build and a damage over time build. Do I want to try the Offspring of the Mutant? We haven't messed with it, so I probably should. <sighs> Ooh, this one's got three coming off. Okay. Yeah, this isn't really doing anything for me, so let's, uh, let's just pick the whole thing back up again. Which of these triggers Offspring? The really slow one, it looks like. The spine of the white fox does. Not enough fertility. Okay. Does that fix it? All right, cool. Duration, fertility. I, I don't know what fertility even means. Uh, let's see. I'm assuming not enough fertility. Okay. Let's just have them shoot out projectiles that propagate more projectiles. Or set things on fire. Let's see, I've got enough for like a little bit more. What about this? No, not enough fertility. It's because it's too far down the line. All right. Let's see if that works. And do I have enough? We could save up for the brain, or for another brain, or we could save up for the brain capacity. I think at this point I go for the brain capacity. Just being able to stack some more onto my just absolute hell burst seems like a good idea. Yeah, so my offspring now will just kind of hang out and shoot at things. Neat. And they last for like 11 seconds too, which is pretty big. It's pretty good. I'm sure there's other ways to build them up higher, but I do appreciate that there is kind of like a weird minion tower defense uh, build that is viable here. I'm curious to see, like, I bet you could go all in on them and really just have tons of minions sitting around on the ground just absolutely shredding things. Let's see. Anything else new? I think I woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. I'm just kind of sitting here thinking. It's just like, what do we even talk about? I don't know. Somet sometimes I have like the damnedest time coming up with a topic. I think what I need to do is just start streaming on YouTube or something and play a sandbox game. Because I... Like one of the reasons why I've stopped doing series for the most part is that I've run out of filler topics to talk about. And I guess I could talk about, like, the holidays or something. That's weird, man. I know not everybody celebrates it. I'm actually quite curious to see, like, yeah, how do other cultures handle various holidays? I know Christmas is kind of this, like, weird, ubiquitous, more consumerist thing nowadays. Uh, let's see. Lung. Let's go for another limb. Tentacle of the starfish. Yeah, we didn't get anything terribly fancy off of that. Oh, and we, wait, 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 wait. I might be able to recycle. 
Yes. Okay, so we can actually recycle a bunch of the old organs we've been picking up that we don't want, which is useful. Okay, brain capacities. So now if I go back to this sucker... So I can fit another. If only. Actually, would it be better to have this trigger? Yeah, probably. You can move this sword down here. Okay. There we go. So what this is going to do is just gout projectiles, which then terminate in Hella Sword. Uh, I still don't know what to do with this one. Now, do we have anything here? Because this splits into two, so I think we might want to do that. Uh, let's see. Keep shooting. Are these still of the boxer? Yes. Oh, but this one's capped. Okay, pull this back in. That can't do anything either. Do I have another eyeball with a second split? The answer is no, not really. So I'll probably just leave it as is. We just don't have a whole lot of offensive anything to work with, but I think it's fine. Because, yeah, now we just have absolute uh, cascade death coming out of my shots. Because none of them actually do a lot of damage on their own. It's just pure quantity that really scales up how absurdly powerful this has become. There we go. Tells unpacking. We still, I don't know. I really need to take like a, a day where I'm just like, I'm not going to work and I'm just going to make my apartment finally like fully set up. Maybe today's a good day for that. But I just, I don't know, between all of my holidays and vacations and stuff, like I keep, I keep kind of repeating this, but I think I've taken off like two and a half months worth of like days this year. Um, and that's not counting, like, just regular days off. I mean, like, straight up away from computer could not work if I wanted two days. Um, and that's been driving me a little nutty. And so it's kind of one of those where it's like, I have this weird itch where it's like, I really want to, I really want to work. But I'm also, like, too tired to. And so it leaves me in this kind of, like, odd funk where I'm just kind of chilling and uncomfortable, so I've, I've started replacing it with, uh, let's see, ooh, spine of the chimpanzee. I mean, the one on the left is best. Hoping for one of the jackals, but whatever. Let's see, surround, retina of the raven, increase movement speed. I, the problem is I don't need any of those. I need extra attacks. We're just getting nothing but trigger organs instead. Well, let's get the crit chance and then uh, some base damage. Not that we need to worry too much. All right, and this is the final wave. The only immediate problem I have with this is we're not really built for dealing with singular bosses. Luckily, the singular bosses aren't the most interesting either. So I think I just kite in a circle and wait until it dies. There we go. I just have to be very careful here. I mean, I'm assuming it only does one heart of damage every time it touches me, but even then... Eh. Maybe part of it is also... Uh, I don't want to say like the novelty for Bullet Heavens have kind of worn off a little bit. Um, they have an amount. I've been getting a lot of them in my inbox. And, like, first couple months after Vampire Survivors came out, 
uh, and any and every like alternate bullet heaven uh, landing in my inbox, I would be like, yes, this is great. I will play it. Uh, and now I'm kind of a little bit more like, okay, it's got to do something different now. The organ customization is great, and I really like that part, but the actual like moment-to-moment -moment gameplay is virtually identical to every game I've played before, and so it's kind of like a different path to the same result. Um, I think part of it is also I really like being able to aim and control exactly where I'm attacking. That's, uh, that's an aspect that I really appreciate out of... Um, like 20 minutes till dawn, especially. Oh, maybe it's just because I'm sleepy. But it's kind of one of those where it's just wandering around picking up EXP. Is a little harder to get into as like a core gameplay mechanic. I think I think it's fine if you're like maybe a little bit more awake or you got some uh, something else to watch on another monitor. Ooh, organ bladder, organ gland, prototype squander, harmony stage two. Yeah, that's the other thing. Uh, so we've got some other characters we can play as. So we've got squander, consumes cells efficiently. So you lose all cells at the start of waves. Culture room costs less. So that's useful, kind of. And then harmony. Every unique organ linked grant, uh, grants 5% increased organ efficiency. Brain is disabled unless the amount of unique organs exceeds exceeds the amount of your brain sets. Oh, that's interesting. So you have to be very judicious with what you do, but I bet that's a pretty cool character. Alright, it's it's definitely like in need of some more time in the oven, for sure, but I think Bio Prototype is actually one of the more interesting bullet heavens I've seen go by in a while. It just needs more variety, not just with organs, but like what certain organs do. I saw a number of things of like of the jackal, of the fox, of the whatever, and I actually prefer it if um, if it went like full Diablo style ARPG with some of them, where like you get one or two that are just absolutely ludicrous. Like here's one that does an AOE on the ground really fast, but they're very small and they're scattered really far, so you just are spitting endless amounts of like mini puddles. But the mini puddles, uh, you know, then you can chain into something else like a, a little bit of chaos would go a very long way in this because this is as it stands the build is a little bit predictable uh you know it's just like oh i'm just gonna fit in more aoe's i don't really care you know how much damage the aoe's do or you know how fast they fire because ultimately you know i'm just gonna keep stacking boxers and no matter how much damage they do they're just gonna get the job done and so instead of having organs with slightly variable stats I'd have I'd rather have organs with very variable effects uh, but maybe it's also one of those where I just need to unlock more and then things get really spicy I'm not entirely sure it seems like there's actually a decent chunk that I'm missing so that might be part of it but with all of that said bio prototype is available on Steam and it is dirt cheap like most other bullet heavens I think it's like three bucks three bucks down to 270 uh, for the Steam Winter Sale, so I don't know. I think it's worth picking up if you want to try a different flavor of Bullet Heaven. Like I said, the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay doesn't change too much, but the path to get there is certainly a little bit more unique and a lot more interesting than I think a lot of the other ones I've played. And I can definitely see at least like five or six other builds that I could get into, because I'd barely even touched like damage over time effects or anything like that, because I was more interested in immediate cascading death. Uh, but I don't know. It could be kind of fun messing around with those, and I'll probably be back for more every couple of patches, give or take. We'll see. But for now, uh, I guess if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe, because I've got tons to show off. But for now, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.